Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is a little update on the plants and trees in my front and backyard. Hi guys, I'll show you a little update of all the plants and trees in my yard. Here's a nice big sago palm. Crepe myrtle. I'll show you the fig trees. This one's coming back. You can see new growth there. This one's doing pretty good. I don't see any figs on it yet. And this is a loquat. I have four of them on the side of my house. You can see I need to get out here and weed. <laughs> the weeds are getting really tall. I just haven't had the time. No loquats on this yet. That moss that you see hanging kind of kills the trees. I can see it's kind of all intertwined here. You can see how it all gathers from this tree. I mean, the, the moss does look pretty hanging from the tree, but it does kill it. And with all the rain that we've been getting, these hedges are really growing good. They're the same hedges that I have next to my fountain. Magnolia tree. The other magnolia tree. I also have the pink magnolia right here. It's growing good. And then you can see all the finger cactuses. Oh, there's a big clump that I need to weed way right there. Looks like my husband sprayed it. And here are the hedges by the fountain. You can see how tall they are. I like them high for privacy. The ones I have in the corner right over here, they're growing good. I wish they'd grow a little bit quicker, but they're coming along. And you can see all the crepe myrtles here. I do need to get out here and weed, but like I said, I have no time. Here's a trumpet plant. Now I'll show you the backyard. So in the backyard, this is my Meyer lemon. I have a lot of lemons on here. They should be ready to be picked maybe the end of November. Then my half plum and Florida peach tree. Still never got no plums. I got buds, but no plums. And you can see this is part of the uh, Florida peach tree. It's all coming out of one branch. 
then my muscovine grapes. And this plant is my red navel orange. You can see one on there. This is my grapefruit. They should be ready to the end of November. The end of November, probably December. Be ready to pick. And there's the uzu. Oh, there's a bird's nest right up there. Oh, wow. I had no idea there was a bird's nest up here. Oh, it's a cute little one. Hopefully I'm focusing on it. And these plants right here, I only had one. And look at how they multiply. It's a nice plant. I don't know what it's called, but it has like a pine cone shape bud to it. It looks like it's going to have some nice little yellow flowers on it. You can see way in the back there a little one popping up. What I do is when I see a bunch like this I'll transplant them. But there's quite a few here. Knowing that I only had one. <laughs> Here's the lime tree. No limes this year. There were buds, but I don't know what happened to them all. And this is the tangerine tree. Last year, the winter really, really took a toll on it. I mean, you can see, you know, some of them are dead, but these have new life. I didn't see any buds on it this year, so I'm hoping it survives another winter and hopefully I'll have tangerines next year. And along the fence line, I have the trumpet plants, the hydrangeas, and then all the cactuses. My husband sprayed in here to help with the weeds because honestly I just don't have the time to come out here and weed. So you can see how all these cactuses, they just jump and grow. I did throw out quite a bit too. And here are more of those plants. I wish I knew the name of them. I put some in the backyard here. Elephant ears, another crepe myrtle, and this loquat. You can see the banana plants are growing. No bananas yet, but they're looking good. All these plants that I have alongside the fence in the backyard here were little seedlings from the crepe myrtles that I planted out front. So what we did is we dug them up and just planted them in the backyard here and so far they're all growing. And our burn pile, if it could get any higher. We're waiting for it to kind of settle down because it is kind of high to start a fire. What had happened is that the last storm that came by, a branch from this tree, you can see where it broke. And I mean, it was a huge one and it fell right down, fell on the fence. Half was in the next yard, so I had to go over there, bring, throw it over the fence. A lot of it was in the backyard, then it broke that sprinkler head. Then I had another one over here that was hanging on the fence, so we had to take that one down. So that's where a lot of this brush came from. 
I mean, you can see how rotten some of these trees are. This one keeps breaking and falling apart, half in our yard, half in the neighbor's yard. But we have a woodpecker that's constantly pecking at it. But you can see how rotted this tree is. And it's like right up against my fence. You can see how tall it is and it's kind of leaning over. But see how the woodpeckers, they peck at it and I tapped on it and it feels kind of hollow, this tree. I always think one day during a storm, it's coming down. And that's my barbecue area. So that's about it in the backyard as far as plants. Whenever I have the time, I try to make a video to keep you guys all updated. But it's kind of hard. I usually don't have time. I can't wait for these Meyer lemons though. They are so good. And you can see how large this muscovine grapevine is. I did have some grapes, but the birds got at it. I have a bird feeder right here. But as you can see, look at the mess they made. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.